today we celebrate Pentecost Sunday. And so here's wishing you and your family members, each and every one of them, a happy feast of Pentecost. Happy May the feast. spirit be with you all. Happy feast, everyone. Happy, happy feast, everyone. Happy feast. Brothers and sisters, be informed that we are not live on YouTube this evening, but we will be sharing the recordings shortly. It is also a request to all the members who have joined in to kindly keep on your cameras. We will now have the live transmission of the Blessed Sacrament during the Holy Rosary. The core team encourages all its members to pray before the Blessed Sacrament, even in our homes. Today's Holy Rosary is offered for the intentions of the Pope, Cardinals, Bishops, Priests, Religious, and all those who serve in our Catholic Church. We also offer this Rosary for the conversion of sinners, perseverance and justice, for the release of all souls from purgatory, and for all the members of our prayer group. This evening, the D'Souza family will lead us into the Holy Rosary. Over to you, Robert and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear. Alleluia. Has risen, as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, God who, who gave, gave joy, joy to the world through the, the resurrection, resurrection of thy Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and in the hour of our death. Amen. All glory to Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and it shall be for us without end. Amen. Amen. O oh my oh Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, blessed mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, blessed mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. And at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord, with thee, bless mountain, and bless the foot of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to Father, and to Son, and to Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Praise Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory, be, all glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. And at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. And at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery. The Assumption of the Virgin Mother, Virgin Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh my, oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, and lead all souls to heaven. Especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, coronation of the Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and as we are of Father. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory to Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without sin. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sights, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this I exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of thy promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries, of the most holy rosary of the blessed virgin mary we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise to the same christ our lord amen litany of the blessed virgin mary lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ have mercy on us christ have mercy on us lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Virgin Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Mother of our Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable,
powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of the migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriots. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of the family. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Queen of Arabia. Pray for us. Lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamp of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. We fly to thy patronage, Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Defend, Defend we beseech thee, O Lord, to the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, this thy family from all adversity, and being prostrate before thee with all our hearts. Mercifully protect us from the snares of the enemy. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorari. Remember, Remember o most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, improved thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petition, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be, world without sin. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Robert and family, for leading us into the Holy Rosary. May you all always hide under our mother's mantle of comfort and protection, and may our mother continue to bless you and your family. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we now call upon Steve Benedict from Yola to say the intercessory prayer. Over to you, Brother Steve. Thank you, uh, Sister Anne. Now I'm going to be beginning with the intercessory prayer. Lord Jesus, as you begin this time of praise and worship, 
we prepare our unworthy selves and the space for you. And so, Lord, in faith we come to the foot of your cross on Calvary and bow down at your feet and plead your most precious blood upon ourselves. And our families right from the crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. Lord, we plead your protection over ourselves and over our family, our entire household, and on every blessing you have bestowed upon us. Lord, we take your precious blood and cover this entire virtual space, our houses, households, Zoom application, Wi-Fi connections, and devices in the name of Jesus Christ. We take authority and bind every disturbance and distraction and everything that is not of your kingdom with your precious blood and cast it bound to the foot of your cross. By the power of your most precious blood and by your very presence, we now declare this space and our houses as holy ground, followed by praying for the praise and worship leader and preacher and for everyone attending the Zoom meeting. Followed by the three princes. Hallelujah, God, please bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Brothers and sisters, we request each and every one of you to kindly keep on your cameras. And we now call upon Sister Sandra Brooks to lead us into the divine praise and worship, for he, our God, dwells in the praises of our people. Over to you, Sister Sandra. Good evening, everyone. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Good Praise evening, the Lord. Sister. Praise the Lord. the Lord. Wishing you all a happy Pentecost Sunday. Let us happy sign Sunday. ourselves. Uh, can you greet each other then? Uh, happy Pentecost feast, Sunday. Sister Sandra. Happy feast, feast to happy one feast. and all. Feast. That's good. Happy feast to all. Mm -hmm. Let's sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Lord, as you have gathered every one of us here, not by chance, but by your will. Lord, you have intended for us to be present here, to spend this time in your holy presence. As we have gathered here today to praise, your, to praise you, the Holy Spirit, our guide and our helper in times of need, as the word says, the Holy Spirit delight in the praises of his people. Amen. 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 So we take this time to praise you, Lord, because we exalt your holy name on high. We give you all glory because you are our God and our loving King. We want to praise you, Lord, because you are our answering God our loving God who continues to help us in difficult times. Lord, we are so grateful and so thankful for what you are doing and continuing to do in our lives is a wonderful testimony, testimony of your great power working in and through us. Lord, even if you have done nothing, we want to praise you not for what you have done, but for who you are and who you continue to be to us. Our Lord and our Savior, our joy in times of sorrow. While there is breath in our lungs and there's hope in our hearts, we will praise you. As Psalm 30, 11 says, you have turned our mourning into dancing and you have clothed us with an everlasting joy. 
as we take this hymn, Praise Adonai. Like him, the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roars to the Lord of hosts. Praise and night from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. of the earth, all the angels and the saints sing praise. Who is like him, lying in the land, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, every ocean roars to the Lord of hosts. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Glory to me. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. You are kings of the Lord of Lords. You are the great and mighty God. You are my deliverer. You are my God. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you. We thank you, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is so much we have to be thankful for. We want to thank you, Lord, for walking with us in our troubled situations. Thank you for blessing, goodness, and mercy on us. We want to thank you, Lord, for all the people in our lives who make our lives meaningful and beautiful. Thank you for watching over us and guiding us through all the hurdles and troubled situations around us. We want to give you thanks for your grace, peace, and joy for loving us unconditionally and never failing us. We still want to give you thanks because this is your will in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for being our source of strength in our lives. Help us, Lord, to endure the situations we face in our day-to-day -day life. We thank you, Lord, for giving your only son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. We pray that we will have the same kind of strength to endure life for your sake. We trust you, Lord, in all things, knowing that your favor surrounds us like a shield. 
as Hebrews 12.28 says, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us give thanks, by which we offer to God an acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for indeed our God is a consuming fire. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Brothers and sisters, let's close our eyes and repent and surrender ourselves. Let us repent for all our sins and all our unworthiness. Let us surrender ourselves to receive the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. As 2 Corinthians 3, 7 says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 
let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We give you all glory, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty. We give you all glory, Lord Jesus. We adore you, Lord Jesus. We magnify you. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We magnify you. We give you all glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord we magnify you. We give you a glory, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, guide us to the heart of Jesus. There is nothing that we want more. Holy Spirit, you increase and we decrease. Holy Spirit, guide our vision 
and help us to see you in each and every one of us. Holy Spirit, guide our speaking. Let our lips be filled with the stories of your mercy that we have found in you. Holy Spirit, open our hearts to your will. Strengthen our crookedness, fill our emptiness, sharpen the edge of our humanity. Light the fire of our love. Quench the flame of our lust. Let us see ourselves as you see us, so that we may see you as you have promised us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for being our comforter, our counselor, our guide, and our friend. Holy Spirit, melt us and mold us to your holy will. Lead us to the heart of Jesus. Holy Spirit, make us more powerful witnesses for your work in, in our lives. Let us ask for more of the fruits and gifts of the Holy Spirit to dwell within us. Let us experience the glory of his goodness. Come Holy Spirit, we want more. Spirit come, fill our hearts anew, till we are consumed with more of you. Hands are lifted high, you be glorified, we are longing for more. Holy Spirit come, fill our Did I, you be glorified.
Can you all unmute yourselves and praise the Lord? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. We magnify you. We give you all the glory, Lord. 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 We give you all you are the one that we adore. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We know we, you are working in our lives. Holy Spirit is moving in our midst, and you are mending each and every one of our hearts gathered here. Let our lives be upgraded to a constant intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Let our lives be used to glorify your holy name. We know you are working in our lives, Lord. Lord, fill us with mercy and grace every day because you are our faithful God. As Psalm 96, 9 says, Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. When I look into your holiness. Yes, Lord. I look into your holiness when I gaze into your loveliness when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you when I found the joy When my will becomes enthroned in your love, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you, I worship you, I worship you.
let us stay in silence and allow the Lord to speak to us. Those who have received a message for the group, kindly unmute yourself and share the message. I am the way, I am the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me, thus Amen. says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, praise, praise Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank we you. give you all glory, Lord Jesus. Thank glory you. and praise, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Sister Sandra, for that anointed time of praise and worship. All glory to our God. Let us give the Lord a mighty hand, all of us. Sorry about that. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Be informed that we are not live on YouTube, but we will be sharing the video shortly. We are fortunate today to have Dr. J. Anand in our midst. Brother will be sharing the word of God on Pentecost, which is appropriate for today. Brother and sister, Dr. Jayanan is well known to all of us in this group, so let us welcome him. Praise the Lord, sister. Praise the Lord, brother. Welcome Hallelujah. to the English Charismatic Prayer Group. Yes, can I take over? Yes, please. Yes, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, and we are so happy that we all have come together on the day of the Feast of Pentecost. What happened 2000 years back? You know, we all know you would have read, of course you would have read Acts chapter one and two. You know, when Jesus completed his earthly mission in this world, and now the time has come for him to go back to heaven. Gospel of John chapter one, Verse 1 onward says that Jesus was in heaven even before the whole world was created. And Colossians chapter 1 verse 15, 16, 17 says it was Jesus who created everything what we see and what we cannot see. But only 2,000 years back, Jesus came through blessed words in Mary. He took the human form in this world and he lived for 33 and a half years. And now when Jesus completed his mission and uh, the mission means to save the whole world. And he paid the price for my sins, your sins and sins of the whole world on the cross. Matthew chapter 27 verse 45 onwards when you read, you will come to know how Jesus paid the price for my sins and your sins and the sins of the whole world. So through his death, our sins are taken away. Through his death, our curses are delivered. And that's why Gospel of John 129 says, Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of all the people of this world. No matter which religion they belong to, which country they belong to, everyone has a right to come to Jesus to receive the forgiveness of sins, to receive the deliverance from curses. Now, when Jesus completed the mission for whatever he had come from heaven, and now the time has come that he was entrusting the job of work of evangelization 
to the apostles that we read in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 onwards, and Mark chapter 16, verse 15 onwards, he entrusted. And now when the time has come that he has to go to heaven, and in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and Jesus was giving certain instruction to the apostles. I have entrusted all the job to you, what you have to do, that is go and preach the gospel, heal the sick, cast out the demon, and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, all this instruction he gave, and finally, Jesus knew that the devil is not going to leave them so easily. Because in Matthew chapter 4, verse uh, 4 onwards, we read that the devil tempted Jesus like anything. All kind of temptations, what I, you, or anybody can have, and the devil tempted Jesus even more than that. But Jesus was able to overcome all the temptation. But we as human beings, sometimes it's very difficult. So Jesus knew that. So he said, I am going to send the power from above. I am going to send the Holy Spirit from above. So that whatever the work that I have entrusted to you, and you will be able to do, and you can stand against the devil and be victorious. So he gave all this instruction, wait and pray and receive the Holy Spirit and be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and all over the world. And he gave all these instructions. And suddenly, Jesus was being taken out. That you read in Acts chapter 1 verse 9. And Jesus was just taken out. And Mother Mary was looking at, and apostles were looking at, oh, Jesus was just taking up, just like the aeroplane goes up, or just like a gas balloon goes up. And when Jesus was covered by the clouds, oh, they were so disappointed. Now Jesus is not seen. And you know, suddenly what happens? In Acts 1, 9, the angels of the Lord appeared and said, Hey, you man of Galilee, why are you gazing at the sky? The Jesus who went above, he will come again. He will come again. But before he comes, you have some job to do. And that is for the anointing of the Holy Spirit and whatever the great commission the Lord has given till the day he comes and we have to complete the job. And the angels announced that. My dear brothers and sisters, as Catholics, <clears throat> during the Holy Mass, especially in Apostles' Creed, and we say, we believe that Jesus is going to come again. What a faith that we have. <clears throat> that Jesus is going to <clears throat> come again. So, <clears throat> before he comes, and we have to do the job that is being entrusted. And you know, if you read Matthew chapter 24 and Mark chapter 13 and Luke chapter 21 and 2 Timothy chapter 3, you read all these chapters and listen to the television news or read the newspaper, whatever is mentioned in these four chapters, the same thing is happening in the world today. These are the last days. And look at the amazing technology today we are enjoying. This was not there 50 years before. And Daniel chapter 12, it says, in the last days, human wisdom will increase like anything. Look at the technology. If you have a smartphone, that means you have the whole world in your hand. So technology will increase like anything. And Luke chapter 17, verse 26, Jesus said, in the last days, people will live like the way people lived in the days of Noah and the days of Lot. You can read Genesis chapter 6 and Genesis chapter 19. How the people of Noah, how the, during the people of Noah and during the people of Lot, they lived sinless, sinful, 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 wickedness, wickedness. No place for God. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus said, in the last days, these things will happen. 
Look at the world, how people are living today. I'm a man who travels around the world. So I know the pulse of every country. And many of you would have gone to different countries and you will know how the people are living. At the same time, Matthew 24 verse 14 says, when technology or human wisdom is increased, when wickedness is there all over the world, and Matthew 24 verse 14 says, gospel of Jesus Christ must be preached all over the world. So Jesus doesn't say all the people in the world will follow Christians. But it says as a testimony it has to be preached. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, thank and praise God for this Zoom technology and Google Meet. And today we are able to sit in one place and talk to different people of different country. So what I want to tell you, when we want to do the Lord's work without the help of the Holy Spirit, it is not possible. And Jesus knew that. That's why he told the apostles, you wait and pray and receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Bible says that on the day of Pentecost, if you can read Acts chapter 2, verse 5, Jews or the Jewish people from different nations came together to celebrate the day of Pentecost. So we all know that the Pentecost means that's the day the Holy Spirit was given to the church, a birthday of the church. But in the Old Testament, this Pentecost festival was there. That is a Jewish festival. And this word Pentecost comes from a Greek language or a Greek word. So in Greek they say Pentecoste. Pentecoste. In English it is Pentecost. So what is it? Pentecoste. You know, even the Jewish people, the people of Israel, they had so many feasts or festivals. And they used to celebrate. And usually what they used to do, many important uh, feasts, they will celebrate on one particular day. That is the day of Pentecost Day. And very special festival is this. And the day or the feast of Passover. What is the feast of Passover? <laughs> you can read in Exodus chapter 12. And you all know that. Because of the adamant nature of Pharaoh in Egypt. And he did not allow the people of Israel to worship the Lord. Because of his adamant nature, ten sufferings came to that country. Country of Egypt. And the tenth one is this. All the firstborn of every family died. Every family. There was a death in every family. The firstborn. But only the people of Israel, the Jewish family, nobody died. You know what happened? If you read in Exodus chapter 12, and you will come to know the detail. God told Moses to tell all the Jewish people, take a lamb, slaughter the lamb, take the blood and apply it on the doorpost. And go inside your house, lock the house, don't come out. And you can have the meat of the land. My dear brothers and sisters, this is exactly represent Jesus Christ. Only the Jewish people, and they used to take the land, and they used to slaughter on behalf of the sins of the whole family. And the, the land will take away the sins, and that family will be freed from all kinds of sins. Today, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, Gospel of John 1, 29, and Jesus died for the family of God. So who is the family of God? From Adam and Eve, all the people in this world have come, no matter which religion they belong to. So there is only one family in the sight of God. And no matter whichever the religion we belong to or country we belong to, we are all God's children. But because they do not know the truth, they're all, you know, separated in the name of different type of faith or religion, whatever it may be. But God saw 
only people of Israel, and they were offering the lamb for the salvation of their family. But God the Father decided, let me offer one lamb <clears throat> so that the whole world can be saved. And there was no any lamb. So God the Father decided to <clears throat> send his only beloved son, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> that through Jesus, the whole world may be saved. Gospel of John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whoever believes in him, and they will have eternal life. So, <clears throat> brothers and sisters, the blood of Jesus protects us. The blood of Jesus <laughs> protects us. And the body and blood of Jesus gives us eternal life. And now, here, what happened? All the people of Jewish people, <laughs> they came to Jerusalem to celebrate the day of Pentecost. As I told you, many festivals, <laughs> and they were supposed to celebrate, but the main festival was the Feast of Passover. Now, at this time, Mother Mary, apostles, and many other people, about 120 people, they went to the upper room according to the direction given by Jesus, and they were praying and praying and praying. How many days did they pray? They prayed for nine days. On the 10th day, that is the day of Pentecost. And that's the day people from all nations had gathered. And that's the day they want to celebrate the day of Pentecost. But God chose that day to pour out the Holy Spirit upon the people. And you all know, when they were praying for nine full days, on the 10th day, a mighty wind entered. And the fire in the form of tongue. It came and descended upon all the 120 people. And they started praising, 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 thanking God and speaking in tongues. Amazing. And the way they were praising, thanking, worshipping, and speaking in tongues, it shook the entire Jerusalem. People were disturbed. Everybody came, came to see what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. And they all heard what they were saying in their own language. So gift of tongues means what? <clears throat> there are different type of tongues. That means languages. There are more than 6,000 languages in the world. And also, Corinthian chapter, uh, 1 Corinthians 13th chapter says, <clears throat> there is a language where the Holy Spirit can speak or angels can speak. In the heavenly languages are different. So when the anointing comes upon you, when you have the gift of tongues, you can speak in any human languages or the language of the angel or the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, many people say, oh, when, the, uh, uh, when we receive the anointing, oh, we will be only speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord if you have the gift of tongues. Praise the Lord. If you have the gift of tongue, you can speak hours and hours and hours. But when the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes, you'll be not only speaking in tongues. The Holy Spirit will correct you. The Holy Spirit will discipline you. The Holy Spirit will guide you to the way you have to live. Speaking in tongues is a gift. But our life transformation is also very, very, very important. But in the case, in the Old Testament time, the Holy Spirit is to come upon the people only for particular reason for particular people. For example, prophets were anointed and the Holy Spirit is to come upon them. And even the kings, and they were anointed. I only wish that today political leaders must be anointed by the Holy Spirit. See, all the kings of Israel, they were all anointed by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord chose them. I only wish 
today all the uh, no, all the presidents or prime minister or kings or government officials in all the country they may be anointed they should be anointed only they can do the right thing but all the wrong things are happening today so when in those days the holy spirit is to come for a particular task on particular people for example so we can see the holy spirit came upon mother mary we read that in luke chapter 1 verse 35 why the holy spirit came upon blessed virgin mary and the angel said the holy spirit will come upon you and he'll help you to conceive the power from above so that you will give birth to the son of god praise the lord so mother mary could not conceive on her own but by the help of the holy spirit that's very very important and also we see that jesus himself because he was in the human form and he wanted the holy spirit and luke chapter 3 verse 21 onwards we see the holy spirit came upon jesus christ when he was baptized in the form of a dove so that is jesus christ to be offered as the lamb of god and now john the baptist he also received the holy spirit even before he was born and the holy spirit bible says luke chapter 1 verse 15 and john the baptist was you know filled by the holy spirit even in the mother womb that means hardly 6 months you know a baby to be born it to be grown fully takes 9 months but he could be hardly about 6 months a baby in the womb already filled by the holy spirit and also the bible same words is said he will be great in the sight of god he will not take ordinary drink he will not take any strong drink <laughs> my dear brothers and sisters today it is a big talk among many people what is wrong in drinking what is wrong in taking beer what is strong dog wrong in taking uh, you know strong drinks once in a week you know holiday that these party i want to tell you if you are an anointed man anointed woman of god the holy spirit will not allow you to touch any kind of liquor the holy spirit will not allow you to smoke or drink or take drugs holy spirit will not allow you to do anything which is against the will of god can john the baptist is a great witness for that so now the holy spirit was given in the old testament to all to mother mary or to jesus or to john the baptist for a particular task for a particular task but now jesus said wait and pray and i will i will send the holy spirit see if jesus does not go and the holy spirit cannot come and jesus said i will go can't send you the holy spirit but you need to wait and pray and joel chapter 2 verse 28 said in the last day i am going to pour out the holy spirit upon all flesh my dear brothers and sisters what is the qualification to receive the holy spirit do you have to go to a very big university and you have to get educated or should be a body builder or you should have a <clears throat> experience in doing god's work you know joel 228 says i am going to pour out the holy spirit upon all flesh that mean the qualification for you to receive the holy spirit you should have flesh <laughs> that means you must be alive and second thing gospel of john chapter 7 verse 37 onward jesus said you must have thirst thirst and thirst you must have thirst oh i need that holy spirit i need that holy spirit you need to thirst you know the apostle did not pray for one minute or two minute nine full days they prayed the thirst my dear brothers and sisters when you have the thirst the power of the holy spirit will come and that holy spirit will ignite you rekindle you you know the fire 
Many people I have seen, many priests and preachers, they are doing amazing work around the world for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. And my ministry is 42nd year this year. So where does the power come? How can they do that work? It is the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the fire that they received on the day of Pentecost. As he told you, the fire came in the form of tongue and rested upon them. My dear brothers and sisters, the fire came upon their head. And imagine if a worldly fire comes upon your head, what happens? <laughs> your hair burns. If the worldly fire falls upon your body, <laughs> your body burns. Is it not? Michael Jackson, once he was uh, doing shooting for some program, and there he was supposed to carry the fire on his head, something like that, and there was no proper protection. Michael Jackson's hair was fully burned. And now <laughs> the heavenly fire came upon the head of 120 people. The fire did not burn. You know, what is the difference between the heavenly fire and the worldly fire? You read in Isaiah chapter 6. <laughs> Isaiah one day when he was praying, he saw the heaven open. He saw God. He saw the angels. Amazing scene. You must read Isaiah chapter 6. And the moment he saw, he started confessing, Oh my God, I am a sinner. My eyes are sinful eyes. My tongue is sinful. You know, he started confessing, I am a sinner, I am a sinner, I am a sinner. I'm not worthy to see God. You know what happened? <clears throat> the angel from heaven, he brought the heavenly fire and he touched his mouth. He touched his tongue and said, Hey, Isaiah, do not say that you are a sinner, you are wicked. All your wickedness is burnt now. All your curses is burnt now. You know what happened? When the heavenly fire comes upon you, you will not get burned, but your curse will be burned. Your sins will be burned. Your bad habit will be burned. Your bad nature will be burned. And all kind of things that God does not like in you will be burned. That's why 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, if anyone in Christ is a newborn baby-like or new creation, all old nature, old habit, old thought, old life is destroyed before everything is new. <laughs> this is what happens. My dear brothers and sisters, now why the apostles wanted this special anointing on the day of Pentecost? I give an example. You read in Mark chapter 14, <laughs> verse 32 to 42. <laughs> Matthew chapter 26, verse 36 to 46. And there you read, when Jesus, the last minutes or last hours of Jesus has come to be arrested. And now Jesus goes to Garden of Gethsemane with three apostles. And Jesus says, can you please pray for one hour? Join me. Come on, pray for one hour. And Jesus told, and he went little further and he was praying. And after one hour of prayer, Jesus comes back. And what were the apostles doing? Were they praying? They were happily sleeping. Happily sleeping. Jesus was so sad about this. And again Jesus said, you guys, you're sleeping. Can you not pray for one hour? And he woke them up and told. And again Jesus went to pray. And after praying, he comes back. And these apostles are sleeping. <laughs> Sometime during the retreat, many people sleep. <laughs> and sometime during the mass also, people sleep. So when people are sleeping, I'm not at all surprised because, you know, apostles, they themselves slept in the presence of Jesus. So, so many people go for adoration and they'll be sleeping in the presence of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, these were the weakness that they had. And one more weakness what Peter had, we read in Matthew chapter 26, verse 69 to 75, you know, when Jesus Christ was arrested and before the crucifixion, and some of the women saw Peter and said, hey, you're also part of Jesus, Jesus group. You were with Jesus. You know what Peter said? 
Three times he denied, I don't know. I don't know who is Jesus. I don't know. I was not at all with him. <laughs> Look at Peter. <laughs> because of the fear. And he denied, I don't know Jesus. I don't belong to the group of Jesus. And also Gospel of John chapter 19, <laughs> verse 25 to 27, if you could read. After Jesus Christ was crucified, the apostles were in great fear. And before that, in Gospel of John 19, 25 to 27, because of the fear, they never came near the cross. Never came near the cross. How many people were under the cross? Gospel of John 19, verse 25 says, Mother Mary, Mother Mary's auntie, Mary Magdalene, and one of the disciples. And the rest of them were so scared, they could not come at the cross. Fear. Fear, fear. And then you read again in God, John chapter 20, verse 19. <clears throat> the apostles, because of fear, they ran to some house. They locked themselves in a particular room because they got scared. They also will be crucified. And then John 21, verse 3. <clears throat> and Bible says, Peter and others went back to their old life fishing. So what happened to their commitment? <laughs> what happened to their commitment today? And same thing, you can uh, take this. Maybe the day you accepted God, accepted uh, Jesus, you started doing so much of work for the Lord. And where is your commitment today? Are you totally committed? Or have you gone back in your spiritual activities? This is what <laughs> happened to apostles. And now <laughs> Jesus knew these people, the apostles, they cannot do this job. The job what I have handed over to them, on their own they cannot do it. So I have to give them the power from above. That's why he said, wait and pray and receive the Holy Spirit. Once the Holy Spirit comes, you will be fully charged. You will be fully charged so that no devil from the hell can stop your work. And that is why they prayed and prayed and prayed on the 10th day, the Holy Spirit came. My dear brothers and sisters, you know about the apostles. All the apostles, they died for Jesus Christ. There's so much of courage and power and energy. They were not scared of the devil, not scared of the Roman Empire, not scared of the Jewish priests, not scared of the Pharisees or Sadducees. Before that, they were all scared. But now they got such a courage that nobody can stop their work. Acts chapter 2 verse 37 onwards, you can read. You know what happened? The Bible says, Peter stood up and preached. Not only Peter. When Peter stood up, all the apostles also stood up. And now Peter started preaching. There was no leadership problem. Today, in many places, spiritually I'm talking, there's so much of leadership problem. I should be the leader. You should be the leader. I must be president. You must be vice president. I should be chairman in the prayer group, in the parish, my dear brothers and sisters. And here, there was no leadership problem. And Mother Mary also never shouted at the apostles, hey, all of you sit down. I must talk. I'm the mother of Jesus. She never shouted. And she was very silently sitting. And Peter preached. All the other apostles supported. So when we are in Jesus Christ, my dear brothers and sisters, this leadership problem, our politics should not come in spiritual, spiritual level. Politics can be in all political area, but not in a spiritual area. So groups are divided. The churches are getting divided. So much we, we hate one another. There's no unity. So here we need to learn from the apostles. So the Holy Bible says in Acts chapter 5, verse 12 to 16, Jesus performed mighty miracles through the apostles. Whatever Jesus did, Jesus casted out the demon. Jesus healed all type of sickness. And Jesus raised the dead. Even apostles also did the same miracle. 
with all my humility i want to say one thing i want to say with all my humility for the past 42 years i am preaching whatever the miracles took place through the ministry of the apostles same miracles have taken place through my ministry again i am saying with all my humility so i'm not trying to say i'm a great man important man no jesus is great jesus was the same yesterday today and forever jesus was the same when the apostles were doing the word uh, the ministry and he is the same when i and you are doing the ministry so when jesus could perform that that kind of mighty miracles jesus is a living god he will do the same miracle even today praise the lord this few weeks back i was in the ministry in the village program and i went to interior villages for about 300 villages you know covering 300 villages not village by village about 100 village one program we had about 8 to 10000 people no internet no telephone no television i was totally cut off from the world but people came in big numbers what a miracle brothers the blind saw deaf heard cripple walked paralyzed got up tumors disappeared oh my god what an amazing miracle the priests and all the people were surprised so what i want to say jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever that's why acts 5 chapter 5 was 12 to 16 says jesus performed mighty miracles through the apostles and till today he is performing the miracles through his servants <laughs> amazing miracles <laughs> the lord does this is the only thing what jesus can do and the followers of jesus can do there are preachers in all religion there are so many religion <laughs> and there are preachers in all religion they can preach fantastic messages but they cannot heal the sick they cannot make the blind to see they cannot make the deaf to hear they cannot make the lame to walk that only jesus can do this is the proof that jesus is the true god jesus is the living god if anyone preaches very good in any other faith let them preach and if they are not able to perform mighty miracles like jesus christ that means they are not the living god the proof is this <laughs> jesus is the living god and the day of pentecost <laughs> gave that power on the day of pentecost <laughs> gave that authority you know jesus did not give a letter a certificate oh these 12 disciples or my apostles so wherever they go please accept them they did not give a letter jesus never gave a letter he gave the holy spirit he gave the gifts of the holy spirit he gave the anointing of the holy spirit and jesus said go throughout the world heal the sick cast out the demons raise the dead baptize them in the name of the father son the holy spirit this is the certificate <clears throat> my dear brothers and sisters how many of you want to be recognized in your ministry how many of you want to be recognized in your ministry oh we love encouragement certificate that this but i want to tell you be anointed by the power of the holy spirit <laughs> be anointed then the bishop will call you the cardinals will call you priest will call you everybody they will call you and open the door for the work of evangelization yes my dear brothers and sisters Jesus never gave any kind of certificate he gave the holy spirit he gave the holy spirit gifts and charisms and they went everywhere all over the world the apostles went everywhere they shook they shook the world and now that happened to apostles so when the holy spirit comes upon you come on me upon common man what happens to you so not all can become like paul not all can become like peter not all can become like moses or elijah everyone has got a job god has given 
But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you know what happens? The first thing, you will become a real Christian. Not a namesake Christian. Not a fake Christian. <clears throat> a real Christian. Acts chapter 11, verse 26. If you could read there, the apostles, when they were in Antioch, and they were doing the ministry for one year. And that is where they earned the name Christians. My dear brothers and sisters, because they were leading a life like Jesus Christ. Jesus is to never smoke, never drink, never tell lies, never have bad habits. And he did always good. And these apostles were doing the same thing what Jesus was doing. Jesus was holy. And these people were also holy. So people in Antioch saw and they said, oh, Jesus was so holy. And they, Jesus was doing all this miracle. Now these people are also doing. That means Jesus is in them. Christian mean what? Christ in them. So today, because if you are born in a Christian family, we become Christian. <clears throat> but the first century Christians, they never earned that name Christian because they were born in a Christian family. They lived like Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. This is what is going to happen to you. And Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 says, we will become imitators of God. We will imitate Jesus Christ in our life. We will lead a life pleasing to God. So my dear brothers and sisters, Today, we have a lot of people imitating film actors, pop singers, political leaders. <clears throat> but if you are anointed by the Holy Spirit, you will imitate Jesus Christ. How? Not the way Jesus dressed. <clears throat> Not the hairstyle of Jesus Christ. Imitating Jesus means you will lead a holy life. You will become a good human being. You will bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit in your day-to-day -day life. That means you become a good human being. You'll be kind. You'll be good. You'll be gentle. You'll have joy, peace, and happiness. You'll have patience. No short temper. No telling lies. No using bad words. Today, people, oh my God, some people, the moment they open their mouth, only bad words are telling lies. Brothers and sisters, you become the imitator of God when the Holy Spirit comes. So people who have got the gift of tongues, they will be speaking gift of tongues and they'll be shaking their hand and all. It's very good. Very good. If you have the gift of tongue, please continue to speak in hours and hours. But what I want to tell you is that if the uh, Holy Spirit comes, it will be not only making you only speaking in tongues and tongues and tongues, he will correct you. He will discipline you. He will help you to forgive one another. He will help you to love one another. He will help you to humble yourself. All these natures the Holy Spirit will give. And there are times that you need to be silent. You don't have to lose your temper. So the Holy Spirit means, it doesn't mean that all the time you are doing something, just prophesizing, or speaking in tongues is very good, very good. All these gifts are very good. But you become, you will have the nature of Jesus Christ. And thereby, what I'm trying to say is, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, it says, God created Adam and Eve, or the human being, in his own image. So when you're anointed by the Holy Spirit, you will retain the image of God. Hallelujah. You will retain the image of God. What is the image of God? In God, there is no sin, no wickedness, no bad habit, no cunningness, no telling lies, no bad words. It's holy, holy, and holy. So you will retain the image of God, not the image of a pop singer, not the image of a political leader, not the image of you know, any film actor or actresses, but you will retain the image of God. And secondly, you will retain the presence of God. Adam and Eve lost the presence of God. 
when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, we will retain the presence of God. Retain the presence of God means we will never yield to devil. We will never yield to the temptations of the devil. We will never please the devil in our words, our life, our action. So because Adam and Eve obeyed the devil, they lost the presence of God. So when the Holy Spirit comes, it helps you to retain the presence of God wherever you go, wherever you go, whether you are sleeping, whether you are working, whether you are traveling, wherever you go, you feel the presence of God. The Lord is always with you. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. And then you will follow the direction given by the Lord. Isaiah 48 verse 17, 18 says, you know, where God will help you in such a way that you follow his direction. When you follow his direction, no failure in your life. No failure in your life. Many people are suffering today. Why? Because of wrong decision that they have taken. Because of wrong habits or bad habits they have, but they suffer in their body. None of the suffering is coming from God. That you should keep it in mind. Sufferings are not from God. Sufferings is that we are not following the direction given by God. When I follow the direction, when you follow the direction given by God, oh, we will be safe and safe. Once I went to a family to pray for a sick person. And he was sick for many, I think, years. And when I went to his room, and there are so many medicine next to his cot. And there on the wall, he has put a chart. What is the chart? Morning, what all the type of tablets he has to take. Afternoon, what all the tablets he has to take. Tonight, what all the tablets he has to take. So, so that he should not forget. So every morning when he takes, he'll put a tick mark. Morning, morning, this side took, this side took. So afternoon when he takes, again, he'll put a tick mark. At night also he will, when he takes medicine, puts a tick mark. Obedient to the doctor. My God, what an obedient man. So I told that person, you're so obedient to the doctor because he has given certain prescription. You're obeying. The Holy Bible is nothing but the prescription, prescription given, given, by, given by God. God has given a prescription. That prescription, nothing but commandments. That prescription is nothing but the teachings of the Lord. So when you follow the commandments and teachings of the Lord, the sickness will not come. The sufferings will not come. The problems will not come. Whatever the problems are supposed to come will not come. Because you're following the prescription given by God. So when I am a human being, you are human being, we are all human being. We obey the laws, the traffic laws, the government laws, or the constitution, or judicial laws. We obey the doctors. Why can't we obey God? Why can't we obey God? So when I, when you obey God, that means the Holy Spirit is helping you. So my dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit will help you. This is what, where the anointing comes upon us, it happens to some people on the day of Pentecost and they were totally energized with the power of the Holy Spirit. They went throughout the world and shook the world. Whatever Jesus did, and they did it. But for me and for you, if we are not in the ministry, we will become the imitators of God. And we will retain the image of God. And we will retain the presence of God. And we will follow the direction given by God. Praise the Lord. And finally, you know what happens? When the Holy Spirit, when we are anointed, you know, God or the Spirit of God, He will seize our senses. Our senses must be, you know, seized or sealed. How does the devil enter you or me or anybody? Jesus told in Matthew chapter 12, verse 43, 44, 45, 
the devil needs a resting place and that resting place is the human body it can be my body your body or anybody's body and many of you know my testimony when i was doing my engineering how i saw jesus one day in the afternoon 3 o'clock and then how the holy spirit came upon me how jesus anointed me for the work of evangelization many of you know that so for 42 years i'm doing the lord's work in a similar way i have lot of experience with the demons all kind of different kind of evil spirits but i don't want to talk about that but one thing i want to tell you as jesus said these evil spirits needs a resting place not on mountain top or on a tree top it the resting place of the evil spirit is in my body or your body or any body in this world brothers and sisters the good news for you is this when we are anointed by the power of the holy spirit our whole body is sealed by the power of the holy spirit no devil can come near you hallelujah and if the devil comes he will be scared of you not you because of jesus in you because of the holy spirit in you that's a great advantage no devil can come near us even if it comes it will flee away and now adam and eve what happened how did the devil enter into them we all know you can read in genesis chapter 3 you know the, uh, the devil spoke through the serpent to eve and speaking and speaking and speaking the devil entered through the sense of hearing you know five senses sense of touch sense of sight sense of smell sense of taste and sense of hearing so devil will enter through the senses now the devil entered to eve through the sense of hearing that means she heard and heard and heard whatever the devil spoke and the bible says she saw the forbidden fruit and the bible says it was pleasing to her eyes god told not to eat the fruit now it is pleasing to her and she took the fruit and ate so devil entered through the sense of hearing sense of sight sense of taste that's all she lost the presence of the lord so brothers and sisters when you are anointed by the holy spirit ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 says the holy spirit will seal your senses will seal your sense of hearing will seal your sense of sight will seal seal the sense of taste and smell and touch so that you may not commit sin i may not commit sin praise the lord hallelujah so once you are sealed by the holy spirit you will not see what god does not want to see you will not hear what god does not want to hear you will not taste what god does not want to taste that is what john the baptist luke 115 it says he will never touch beer ordinary drink or strong drink but he will be a great man in the sight of god what a testimony is that so my dear brothers and sisters you will be a imitator of god in your life wherever you go you will be a blessing and you will be a blessing to others wherever you go whatever you speak you will be a blessing you know mother mary went in search of elizabeth what happened when mother mary greeted elizabeth john the baptist in the womb started jumping maybe praise the lord hallelujah i don't know what all is in return elizabeth greeted blessed virgin mary you know what happened to baby jesus jesus also started jumping in the womb that means your words can bring blessing to the people some people their words bring curses tears and they break the heart so if the anointing of the holy spirit is upon you you become a channel of blessing wherever you go and first corinthian 316 says your body will become the temple of god your body become the temple of god can you read gospel of john chapter 14 
chapter 15, chapter 16, you will come to know more about the Holy Spirit. And chapter 14, verse 15 and 17 says, the Holy Spirit is the best counselor. He is the best counselor. We all need counselors. When we are in trouble, especially we run after counselors. Every day I get about seven to 800 WhatsApp messages and email. All counselors cannot, you know, talk to everybody. The Holy Bible says, the Holy Spirit is the best counselor. He is the best counselor. He will tell you what to do, what not to do. He will guide you, guide you, guide you, guide you. Gospel of John chapter 16 verse 4 says, he will glorify Jesus through you, your words, your life, your action. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. And also Gospel of John 16, 8 says, the Holy Spirit will convict you <clears throat> what you're doing is wrong, what you're doing is wrong, what you're doing is wrong. But the evil spirit will convince you to do. Oh, nothing wrong. Everybody is doing, you also do. <clears throat> Everybody is doing, everybody is doing, you also do. Whatever you want. But the Holy Spirit will convict you. And then Gospel of John 16, 13 says, the Holy Spirit leads you to truth, not blind faith. Today, how many people are living in blind faith, you know? Blind faith, blind faith, blind faith. All this blind faith is meant only for heathens who do not know God, the Father, Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. All of them, they had blind faith. They will say good day and bad day, good hour and bad hour. Blind faith. I can tell you so many things, but I have no time. I have to wind up now. <laughs> but blind faith. They don't know the word of God. Living in blind faith. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will lead you to truth. <laughs> will lead you and help you to worship the Lord in truth and spirit. Gospel of John, chapter 4, you read and see, when Jesus was talking to Samaritan woman, he said, they that worship the Lord will worship with truth and spirit. And today, sometimes, many people, they themselves say, when they start praying, they feel sleepy. When they read the Bible, they feel sleepy. That means the Holy Spirit is not guiding you. you feel sleepy when you pray or praise the Lord. But Jesus said to Samaritan woman, Everyone who praises the Lord, they will worship the Lord with truth and spirit. And finally, with one example, I wind up. My dear brothers and sisters, today we all have GPS systems. And GPS system is a new technology. You know, it came out only 20 years back. Amazing technology. You know, 20 years back when I went to America, my friend came to Los Angeles to receive me to the airport and he came with a brand new car. He said, brother, I got a new car with a new technology and you are the first person to sit. I said, what is the technology? He said, GPS. I said, what is the GPS? Global positioning system. I said, what is that? And he said, if you have to go from one place to another place and just key in your address, and the GPS system will guide you. Take right, take left, take the flyover, take roundabout. And if you do mistake, it will uh, correct you. You know, amazing technology. So first time from the airport, I told my friend, so nicely it was guiding. I told, let us test the GPS system now. And now you disobey the GPS system. If he says right, you take left. <laughs> you know, we wanted to do some experiment. You know, this new GPS system, is, which is connected, now we have in, in our smartphone, a car, everywhere we get, it's connected to the satellite. And now, this GPS system, it will guide you from the satellite. Take left. And if you disobey, right, it will say wrong, wrong, wrong. Still, we go recalculating, recalculating. And finally, correcting, correcting us, taking us different routes. When we come to our destination, yes. You have arrived to your destination. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what the Holy Spirit does. <laughs> when you are anointed by the Holy Spirit, your body, your mind, your soul is connected to heaven, not to the satellite. So from heaven, you will be guided. Do this, do this, <laughs> do not do this. 
if you commit sin, repent, repent, still go for confession, go for confession. The Holy Spirit will guide and guide and guide and correct you, correct you day and day after. Every day correction. And <laughs> one fine day when our life in this world is over, the Holy Spirit will say, yes, you are arrived to the destination. That's heaven. So my dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit is not meant only for bishops or priests or sisters or preachers because some people think like that. The Holy Spirit is meant for all the people in this world. No matter which religion they belong to. <laughs> because only the Holy Spirit can guide them in the right way. The Holy Spirit is meant people from all religion. Rich or poor, educated or uneducated. And this is what happened on the day of Pentecost. And I am unable to cover many of the topics. But if you want to <laughs> listen to more of the points about the Holy Spirit and Pentecost, you can go to YouTube and you can, uh, you know, go to my name, Dr. Jayanan, J-A-Y-A-N-D. So there are a lot of talks on the Holy Spirit. You can listen. I have explained with many examples. But now we are going to wind up. And we are going to pray, Lord, anoint us with the power of the Holy Spirit. Not only me. The whole world needs the Holy Spirit. The whole world is in a messed up situation. Especially youngsters are in a big mess. So we are going to not only pray only for us, we are going to pray for the whole world, all of us together right now. Let us close our eyes. Lord, dear Heavenly Father, we praise you, we thank you, we worship you. Lord Jesus, we praise you, we thank you, we worship you. Holy Spirit, we praise you, thank you, worship you, Lord. 2,000 years back, Lord, according to your promise, in the last days, I'm going to pour out the Holy Spirit upon all flesh, and that's the birthday of the church. Lord, on the day of Pentecost, Mother Mary, apostles, and many other people, 120 people were there, and you showered the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. And thereby, wherever your apostles went, the Holy Spirit and the gifts anointing were showered. And today anybody can receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit, provided they have a thirst, Lord. Lord, now I pray for upon all these brothers and sisters, whoever listening online, everyone who is listening online, Lord, I pray that you may anoint them with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them have the Pentecostal experience. Whatever the experience Mother Mary had, whatever the experience apostles had, whatever the experience 120 people had, let these people have the same experience. Lord. Anoint them through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the heavenly fire come upon them. When the heavenly fire came upon Isaiah, his sins, his wickedness, his curses, were destroyed. <clears throat> right now, when the heavenly power comes upon them, heavenly fire comes upon them, and the Holy Spirit comes upon them, all those who are listening, let their wickedness or curse or plans of the devil be destroyed. All their bad habits be destroyed. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, bless them, Lord. Anoint them with the Holy Spirit, Lord, because he is the right counselor. Lord, we are not only praying for these brothers and sisters who are online, but we pray for the whole world. Have mercy. Lord. Have mercy. The world, all the people in this world are beyond the control. Lord. The devil is controlling them. But Lord, I pray we may pour out the Holy Spirit upon all the people. Pour out the Holy Spirit upon this planet Earth so that everyone may receive the Holy Spirit. Everyone may know the truth. And everyone may lead a life pleasing to you so that they may be saved and receive eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. Heavenly Father, amen and amen. amen. Thank you, brother, for the Very anointed, powerful and in-depth teaching on the Holy Spirit. We pray our good Lord continues to use you in a mighty way. The spirit of uh, Pentecost continue to be with you and your family. And we hope to see you again soon. Thank you, sister.
God bless. We now have the general announcements. The intercessory team will meet online on Zoom every Monday at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Please do join to spend time in prayer and to pray for the needs of those individuals who have requested for our prayer support. The healing and deliverance, those who need prayers, please stay back after the final hymn or alternatively you can drop a message to Brother Joseph on 050-344-2453. The healing and deliverance ministry members will pray for your intention. If you have a testimony that you would like to share, please do share it with Brother Chris. You can audio record it or share it to a message on WhatsApp or email it to brookchris146 at gmail.com. The team will go through it and then invite you to share here on Zoom at our prayer meeting. If you are comfortable, else one of the members will voice it out on your behalf. If any new member would like to join our prayer group, St. Michael's English Charismatic Prayer Group, Charger UAE, please send a WhatsApp message to Brother Chris Brooks on 052-923-3100 and we will add you to the group. Thank you. Mass offered for the soul of Philip Oliveira, Sister Amita Oliveira's husband, on Saturday, the 11th of June, 2022, at 7 p.m. at St. Michael's Church Charter, we request everyone to join us in the church for Mass offered for the departed soul. We now request Brother Savio to have the closing prayer, followed by the Lord's Prayer and the closing hymn. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you with all our hearts for this wonderful time that we have spent with you, Lord. Thank you for your faithful presence, Lord, where you were here to listen to us, praising you, worshipping you, my God. Thank you, Lord, that the church celebrates the Feast of the Holy Spirit, the Feast of Pentecost today. We thank you, Lord Jesus that you knew the importance of the Holy Spirit in our life and you gave him to us. Thank you for this great gift in our life, Lord. Holy Spirit, we ask you to take control of our lives, of our mind, of our heart and all our senses so that we are made truly in the image and likeness of Christ. Give us the spirit of discernment so that we know what is right and what is wrong and help us to stay connected to you always and at all times. For it is only through you, Lord, Holy Spirit, that we can fulfill the final commandment of Jesus where he said, go out to the whole world and make disciples of every nation. And without you, Holy Spirit, we cannot do this. Without you, we cannot take God's love to others. We cannot take his word. And we need you, Holy Spirit, in our life every day. Stay with us, be with us, and reign supreme in us. We thank you, Father, for the wonderful praise and worship that our sister Sandra did. And also for Brother Jayanan, who gave us this beautiful word telling us so much about your Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask you to bless them abundantly in their lives and help them in their ministries and all their cares. Bless their families and in every way be with them, Lord. Father, be with us all through this week, taking your spirit, your word in us so that we may bear fruit all through this week Till we meet again next week, keep us safe, protect us, guide us, and fill us with your grace, so that in all we do, we may glorify you. We make this prayer, Father, 
in the name of Jesus, your beloved Son, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us now together say the Lord's Prayer. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trust against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among the men, women, and, uh, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Of our death. Amen. Amen. All glory be to the Father, the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is now, and ever shall, ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Now and forever. Now and forever. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. Good night, brothers and sisters. Good night, brother. Good night. Those who need prayers, kindly stay back. The others can exit.